Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up the Google TV Streamer 4K with your television. So the instruction manual isn't very in-depth here, but I'm gonna go through every step. So first we're gonna plug the Google TV Streamer device into a power outlet and an HDMI port on our television. Then we're gonna turn on our TV and switch to the input source your Google TV Streamer is plugged into, put batteries in your remote, then get the Google Home app and follow the steps on your TV. So I'm gonna walk you through each one of these steps. So starting with plugging your Google TV Streamer into a power outlet and to an HDMI port on your TV. And this is the power cord that comes with our Google TV Streamer. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the USB Type-C and plug that into the back of our Google TV Streamer right here. And then the other side is a USB Type-A. So most of you guys are gonna use the power adapter that's provided and plug it into your wall. However, if you have a USB port on the back of your TV, it's possible you could plug this into that port to get power that way as an additional option. But like I said, most of you guys are probably going to use the provided adapter here so we can plug that into the wall. Unfortunately, this device doesn't come with an HDMI cord. You're gonna have to purchase this separately. If you don't already have an HDMI cord that you can use, I'll post an Amazon link down in the description to HDMI cords so you can check them out there. But one end we're gonna put in to the back of our Google TV streamer. And then the other end we're gonna plug into the back of our TV. Now with our Google TV streamer, we're going to plug it into power. So taking this end and plugging it into the wall. And then the HDMI cord, we're gonna plug in the other end into the back of our TV. Make note of which HDMI port that you're plugging into. So for this example, I'm gonna plug into HDMI 1. And once plugging in there, now I need to switch over to the HDMI 1 input on my TV to go to the next step in this setup. Now on our TV, we need to go to the HDMI input that we have our Google TV streamer plugged into. For me, it's HDMI 1 and it shows up on this tile right here. Now, if you just have a traditional TV, you can take out the remote for that TV and try to find a button on it that says either input or source, or you might even have a dedicated HDMI button on your remote. But what we need to do is launch that input. So now at this point, it wants us to put batteries in the Google TV remote. So taking out the remote that comes with our Google TV streamer and it conveniently comes with a couple batteries as well. So we're gonna slide those into the back of the remote. With those batteries in, we can see that the remote is in pairing mode with this light showing. And we can see that it pairs automatically. We get this check mark, takes us over to the next screen and we can now use our remote to select things on the screen now that it's paired. So I'm gonna select the English language from the United States. So now we're gonna be setting up our Google TV streamer with the Google Home app. You can get it in the App Store on an iPhone or through the Google Play Store on an Android device. So I'm gonna take you over to my phone to show you the next step in this process. Once you have the Google Home app on your smartphone, we're gonna launch it. Now, if this is your first time using the Google Home app, you're going to need to link a profile account. I'm simply using my Google Gmail account. That's my login to get to my Google Home. Now from here, from the home page, what we wanna do is go down to where it says devices and click on that. And this is going to be a Google device. So we're gonna click the Google Nest or partner device option right here. If you need to add a home, you can do so right here. I'm selecting my home and then clicking next. And it's gonna look for devices that are in your general vicinity. Within about five to 10 seconds, it was able to find my Google TV streamer. And this is the code that is also on my TV screen. It says Google TV 7819. So that's what I'm looking to set up. So I'm gonna click yes. At this point, we're gonna take our phone over to our TV screen and we can scan that QR code that is on the TV screen. However, you can also input this code manually by clicking where it says continue without scanning. And that manual code is right below the QR code that is on your TV screen. So either way, pick which way you wanna enter this code to move on to the next step. And after entering that code, it's gonna connect up to the Google TV streamer. Your phone or tablet may disconnect from Wi-Fi during this setup. And if it's successful, it'll take us over to the next screen where it's gonna say hello. It'll have the email of the account that you're setting this up with. You can look over the terms of service if you'd like, and then we can click accept at the bottom. And again, we can look over some additional legal terms in here. And if everything looks good for you, we can click I agree. And for me, this device is located in my living room. So I'm going to select that option and then click next. And I'm gonna name this living room TV tube since I already have a different TV set up in my living room. So that's the name I'm gonna have there. You can name it whatever you'd like and then click next. 
Then in the next step, you're gonna connect up to your wireless Wi-Fi internet connection. So select your internet router in this list and then click next. Enter your Wi-Fi password and then click next. And if you've entered your password incorrectly, it should successfully connect up. And within about 15 to 20 seconds, it successfully connected up to the internet. Now it says that we can sign in with our Google account. So your Google account will be signed in to your Google TV streamer to enable some more personalization with your TV experience. So we can click continue. So it signed in and linked up my Gmail account to my Google TV streamer. Now I need to verify that it's me so I can click next. After you confirm your account, it should take you over to a page where it has a software update available. So to do a software update, we're gonna click continue and we're going to accept the update. It's also giving us some information here on using Google Assistant with our device. So we can click continue. And then it's asking to allow Google to search across all of your TV apps to find what you're looking for content wise through all of your different TV apps. So if you'd like to allow this, you can click that option down here. And I've already set up voice recognition in the Google Home app. So voice match is on for my device. So I'm gonna click continue. And then if you'd like to get personal results on all of the devices in your Google Home, then you can turn on this option. Otherwise, you can click no thanks. So as you can see, I have a lot of different Google devices, so it can share different results and information across these apps to get a better experience. Then it's asking to choose your subscription. So you can select all the different apps that you'd like to have on your Google streaming device. Of course, you're always gonna be able to add whichever apps that you want after you set everything up. So don't be worried if you miss things in here that you wanted to set up later. But for me, I'm just gonna select YouTube, YouTube Music, and Twitch, and then click Next. And for ambient mode, this is essentially when the TV goes into sleep mode where it just puts pictures on the screen of your TV. I'm gonna select having art gallery for these pictures and then click next. You can select nothing or you can even use your Google photos for this. But like I said, I'm using art gallery and clicking next. If you'd like, you can sign up to get updates through your email on Google hardware products and related features, services, and offers. I'm not gonna do this, so I'm gonna click no thanks. Setup in the Google Home app is now finished. So to finish up this setup process, we're gonna go back over to our TV screen with our remote and finish setting things up over there. So taking out our Google Streamer remote and we're gonna set up volume and power. To do this, we're gonna click the big circle button here at the top of the remote to set up the remote, so clicking that. And I'm gonna be setting this up with a TV, so selecting that. And the brand of my TV is a TCL. So I'm gonna go down to that and select TCL. And it's telling us that we're gonna hear music next. So we're gonna click OK on next. And we're gonna to try to use the up and down volume buttons. And we can see that it's working. I can turn up and down the volume. So it's all set up and ready to go there. So the volume buttons do work. I'm gonna click OK on yes. Next, we're gonna set up the power button. Again, clicking OK on next. We're gonna click the power button and the TV should turn off. Wait at least eight seconds, don't press any buttons. Press power again and the TV should turn on. So I'm gonna click the power button here at the bottom of my Google remote. And my Google TV streamer has turned off. To turn it back on, we're gonna click the power button again and it has successfully turned back on. So this worked, so I'm gonna click OK on yes. The remote is now set up, so I'm gonna click OK on next. This takes us to the homepage of our Google TV streamer in the For You tab. If we scroll down, we can find all of our different apps down here. If you'd like to rearrange these, you can hold down the OK button or the Select button, and then this menu will pop up. We can click Move, and then we can put the app exactly where we want it to be located. And we can do this with other apps as well. So some of the apps that I use more often, I'm gonna move to the front of the line, putting that there, and then click OK on Done. And then going back up to the top, we can see live channel options in the live tab. We can look up any different apps that we'd like to download and install onto our device in the apps area. We can go down and search for different apps and games and we can download and install them from this area. In your library, if you have any rentals or movies or things that you've purchased, you would find those in this area if they're linked up with the Google account that you have linked up with this TV streamer. And then if you wanna to get to your settings, it's all the way over here in the upper right hand corner. And we can do all sorts of things there. We can change our Wi-Fi connection. We can set up different remotes and you can view all settings by clicking that option up there. But going back to the home screen, this is gonna wrap up this comprehensive setup guide. I hope it was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.